So cyber is the new frontier of conflict with Russia and Ukraine, and the attacks have already begun. But are we prepared for a cyber invasion of the U.S.? President Biden sure seems to think so. Watch. If Russia pursues cyber attacks against our companies, our critical infrastructure, we are prepared to respond. For months, we've been working closely with our private with the private sector to harden our cyber defenses, sharpen our ability to respond to Russian cyber attacks as well. That's interesting. So why haven't we launched any cyber attacks on Russia yet? And if Russia targets the U.S., what is the best way for us to respond? Joining me to discuss is former white hat hacker and trusted sec founder and CEO Dave Kennedy. Dave, thanks so much for joining the program. What is the first area that Russia goes to to attack the United States? Well, first of all, thanks, Lawrence, for having me on today and, and happy to represent uh, the Kennedys. Well, uh, Kennedy is off today. But right. uh, when you look at cyber attack and uh, cyber attacks in general, you know, what Russia is typically looking at is how do you curve uh, continued heightened escalation for the United States and its and its allies? So going after things that cause pain, it could be financial, uh, mm-hmm. critical infrastructure. And some of the major concerns are our critical infrastructure. I mean, these are archaic systems that date back to the 50s and 60s are a major critical exposure for us. You know, think water treatment facilities, our electric grid, how we get power, uh, city min- 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 municipalities. All of those are key things that that Russia would look to target to cause issues with and historically have been trying to penetrate for years. And we've been combating that and trying to boot them out and shore up our infrastructure. But it's just this cat and mouse game that we play with Russia. And they're they're very capable of what they do. Are we pre- uh, prepared for those attacks? We're, we're more prepared than we ever have been, uh, but we're definitely not prepared to withstand a barrage of attacks from a cyber perspective from Russia. You know, it, it's something like 74 percent of our critical infrastructure is owned by private sector, not even the government. Mm-hmm. And so when you look at that, you know, it's, it's, it's a major overhaul of how we look at security in these types of systems. And it's going to take, you know, 20 to 50 years to retool and rehaul all of these. Now, the Critical Infrastructure Security Agency is, is spending a lot of time with private corporations, really trying to bring awareness to this and build out solid defenses. There's tabletop exercises going on in D.C. right now trying to prepare for the worst. Uh, we're definitely not prepared to handle a direct conflict from a cyber perspective from Russia. But I also want to elaborate that we have the ability to go on the offensive against Russia yeah. and cause a lot of drastic you know, harm back and forth. So it's this What's continual escalation that's the concern right now. What's the delay, uh, Dave? Well, cyber is this, this kind of uh, uncharted territory. There's nothing that constitutes a cyber war crossing the line. Russia's hacked into us and private corporations with solar winds. They shut down, you know, the Ukrainian power grid in 2015, 2016, 2017. They hit massive ransomware that impacted, you know, FedEx caused over $100 million worth of damages. You know, so so there's a lot of going back and forth of what actually constitutes escalation. Uh, there, there's probably things happening that we don't see around, you know, going after military communications, uh, eavesdropping and understanding from an intelligence perspective of what's actually occurring. But, you know, at this time, you know, starting to bring some pressure up into Russia from a cyber warfare perspective is something that we should absolutely be doing to create that. You know, you hear this term impose costs quite often. We need to continue to impose costs with Russia, make it very painful for them so that they start to, you know, second guess what they're doing here in Ukraine and especially abroad after Ukraine is 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 happened. So uh, right now we don't seem to be doing anything, especially not publicly. I hope uh, that we, you know, start to mount an offense against Russia on the cyber side of the house, but it's still too early to tell. Yeah, Dave, I just don't understand what's taking so long. Uh, we see what they're doing. They've already attacked us once from a cyber state, it's multiple times. Uh, you would think we would be ready oh. to respond. Oh. Dave, thanks so much for coming on the program. Yeah, thanks, Lawrence. Appreciate it. You got it.